Mighty Swiss Bank and Forex Marketplace encourages traders to achieve the best monthly performers. We've had short-term traders and long-term traders. We've had fundamental guys and technical guys. We're getting closer to the time for trader of the year. So you can get an insight into the world of a successful FX trader. He hails from Snowy River, up by Kosciuszko's side, where the hills are twice as steep and twice as rough. Where a horse's hooves strike firelight from the Flintstones every stride, the man that holds his own is good enough. And the Snowy River riders on the mountains make their home, where the river runs those giant hills between. I have seen full many horsemen since I first commenced to roam, but nowhere yet such horsemen have I seen. To become the trader of the month is special, but to get success over the whole year takes patience, discipline and a top FX brain. And a man with all those qualities is Rowan Simpson from Australia and he's the first ever Ducas Copy Trader of the Year. Tonight is a special evening. We are here together to celebrate the Trader of the Year. The competition started about one year ago. Thousands of professionals were trading, day after day, month after month, putting all efforts, all energy in successful results. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, after 40 hours trip coming from Australia, I would like to invite and to congratulate Mr. Roran Simpson. Congratulations again for this outstanding performance and uh, let us offer you this fantastic Georgia Lokult watch. Year, we did a special watch for the traders of the year with a special engraving. I hope he will have son and his son we will have it. I hope he's going to transmit. We are a patrimonic brand, so generation uh, have the profit of uh, our creations. I'm speechless. I, it's just been one roller coaster ride. It's, it's absolutely been fantastic. You know, there's thousands of traders competing for a prize to be the best trader and you're the one who's come out on top. How, how does that feel? I'm gradually realising that uh, I am being successful now and it's uh, like this event tonight to be able to meet other traders um, and people on the same level and relate to them and network with them. Uh, it's just been a fantastic evening and it's all thanks to Ducas Coffee. Over the course of the year, Mr. Simpson placed almost 400 orders and traded on 185 days. Although he did have some drawdowns, he still managed to finish more than 110% in profit. So what does it take to become the trader of the year? It's time to explore the winning mentality of Mr. Simpson, his trading philosophy, his approach to risk, and how he became such a successful trader. So let's start with the basics. Uh, what sort of trader are you? Do you? What's the balance between the technical and fundamental analysis? I'm, I'm more a technical sort of person. We'll keep it really basic and really simple. More a systematic style of trading. On the intraday trading, I focus on one pair, uh, which is one of the most popular pairs, the euro dollar. Uh, with the long-term trading, as long as the currency pair actually fits the entry point, I'll trade any currency pair that does. You said you don't pay much attention to fundamental news, but for the Eurozone, it's been a very turbulent 2010. Are you not tempted to use the fundamental news as a gauge of what direction the market's going? We try to keep it as simple as possible. So all the other outside influences, I just try to ignore. In terms of where you trade, I know you've got a full-time job. So do you trade when you're at work? Have you got your iPhone going? So how do you manage to strike the balance between having a job and, and trading? I stick to the daily chart now uh, for two reasons. One, as you mentioned I've got a, a full-time job uh, and the daily chart keeps the emotions under control. It's not as exciting as the hourly chart or the five-minute chart. Yeah, it just keeps it under control and allows me to put the trades on the daily candle change and then I can pick it up on the next day. You, you can adapt to Forex trading to suit your lifestyle and at the moment that includes a full-time job so uh, I, I basically put the trades on while I'm having lunch. That's it once I put it on it's not till the following 24 hours that I review that and uh, close the trade and put the next trade on. And how important for you is it to have a, a good environment around you which is calm so you can, you can make your trades? That's very important because you do make a lot of mistakes. If you're under pressure and you're not thinking straight, you do make a lot of mistakes and you let your emotions 
start to trade and that's very dangerous. And to talk about emotions, greed is the one big emotion that often catches out traders. So, so how would you try and prevent greed from taking over? It's what you feel comfortable with. If once you're comfortable with your stop loss, you take profit, stick to your plan, and that's it. Don't let your emotions get in the way of doing things. Uh, early on, I used to get in very emotional when I would put a trade on and hit a stop loss. You know, nobody likes to lose money. And then I realised that was just the cost of doing business. And every business has uh, expenses and costs involved. And that's all it is. It's the cost of running your business. And what about your money management principles? How much of your equity are you normally willing to risk? I like to put a uh, dollar value on the, the amount of pips for the stop loss and for the take profit that I'm comfortable with. And if I'm comfortable with that, emotionally comfortable with it, then I'll go ahead and put that trade on. You've been the most successful trader mm -hmm. over the whole 12 months of 2010, but how have you improved as a trader during that year? Really just sort of covering the, those disciplines we were discussing and trying to enforce those disciplines. Um, that's the hardest thing. I know you can um, probably get uh, you know, robots to trade for you, but you still need, I, I believe that even with robots, they can't trade for you. You need some of that emotional side. You still need to be able to control your trades to a certain extent, even though you follow your plan and you stick to it and you're consistent, you still need that bit of emotion. So we've established that Mr. Simpson likes to keep it simple, but now he's going to show us a very handy trade, which is worth about 700 pips. So can you talk me through what these lines actually mean on the charts? It's just moving averages. Um, I like to colour code them. The first one is a uh, 30 time period, which is the pink one, uh, we've got the 14 day time period which is the red and the green for the 7 day time period. Uh, the red and the green I use for the uh, buy or sell um, and when they intersect the confirmation is through the pink when the three meet together and cross. Uh, as you can see it's a very clear, for me that's an entry point. Uh, the red being above the green means that we're entering a downward trend. Uh, I usually wait a couple of days just to uh, confirm that uh, there is a trend happening there. As you can see, the, the uh, moving averages are getting wider. I entered the trade uh, roughly about here somewhere um, and followed the trade down uh, until I suppose I felt quite happy to take 700 pips. Uh, I'm still working on an exit strategy. Um, I'm really happy with the entry, I just need to work on my exit. If you stick to this system, mm -hmm. it seems like this isn't something which happens a lot. So how often can you trade using this system? If you only uh, traded one currency pair, it would be, as you can see, they're daily candles that we're using here. Uh, it would take quite some time for you to find an entry point. But uh, the system works on any currency pair. So you can have your top 10 currency pairs that you go through, you check daily. When you get that entry point, you can place the trade. Mr. Simpson travelled for a remarkable 40 hours to get to Geneva, but he was obviously delighted with the outcome. And if you want to be in his chair next year, then you have to show the same cool head and discipline. I'm Peter Lovegrove for Ducas Copy TV.